Now, I'm going to have to do that little, I call him the man in the moon. The man in the moon box. I'm doing this one next. Oh, yeah, I want you to do this one next. Right, and I'm going to go right back to the beginning. So start right at the beginning, OK? So what I'm going to do is I've got two sheets of black cardstock. It's A4 cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to eight inches. So actually A4 is eight and a little bit. It's about eight and a quarter, right? So eight and a quarter that way and just make sure that it is exactly square so that I don't have problems. Eight and a quarter. Do you know what? I'll go... Um, let me just have a little look. Yes, eight and a quarter. Perfect. Right, so we've got perfect eight and a quarter inch square. You can just go over there for now. Cardstock, right? Now, I'm going to use my scoring board. I'm going to make the lid with one side and the base with the other. And I'm going to do it an inch deep, right? So, you go to an inch. Should I go an inch or should I go an inch? Maybe, maybe I'll go an inch and a quarter. Give it a little bit more dip. So, I'm going to go an inch and a quarter, all right? And then I'm going to go an inch and a quarter. Yeah, so it's an inch and two little... Two little uh, Two little score lines there, Jo. Must right. say, uh, the nails on the hair are looking fabulous, may I say, Sarah, today. Why, thank you. Do you know what the trick is? I bought some new colours of my um, my I own do-it-at-home with the lamp, and I've sprayed a lot of dry shampoo on my hair so that it's less obvious that my roots it are nearly two inches long. It is working for you. There you go. So, uh, right, an inch and two little pieces there. Now, this is the base, OK? Inch and two little pieces on all four sides which is basically an inch and a quarter, right? Now, if I've planned this right, because it was eight inches, right? Let me just get that nice dive, the, my little man in the moon, here he is. It's actually called moon and stars. That was the base, put that over there, we don't need it for now, he's the, he's the lid. Take the creator card and do not take the outside cutting edge. We don't want the outside because we're cutting in. And look, I can position that in the middle. And because this was eight inches, and I know this is five inches, by going an inch and a quarter, it basically gives me plenty of space in the middle with a little bit more kind of to go at, right? So, just like we did before, we're going to take this jaw, tape it down, right? And I'm going to tape that down in a couple of places. Do they all have that removable outside edge, these dies, Sarah? So, so it gives you the most amount of versatility? Every single one. And then look at this, even though I'm still going to pop this through. Now, if you only had the junior, you wouldn't be able to cut an eight inch wide opening, right? So that's why you would use it with the, um, oh, the whatchamacallit. That's why you would be doing it with your larger Gemini machine yep. for positioning this, right? But still, if you've got the normal Gemini, that works a treat. If you've got the Pro, oh, you're going to be laughing. You're going to be able to do massive boxes and cut all this in. Now, I'm going to enhance this a little bit further, Joe. Do you know what I've noticed we've got down here? the little daubers, right? And then we've got a couple of our metallic ink pads under here. So let's have a look. I've got a few nice... Oh, the blue organza is going to be nice and probably a little bit of that pink lace is going to be lovely. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of the gold and be really specific. Look at this, right? So Love I can go it. and colour him up with the... Because I'm using the, um, the dauber, I can be really specific on where I'm managing to get that ink. And again, up his little. And oh, I just, oh, I'm loving it. This is this is me just exploring around here and and just experimenting with a little bit, okay? And then let's get another one of these, another one of these on a different colour. Pick up a bit of the blue, and I'm going to just stamp a little, just do a little bit of the blue onto there as well. And then what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to, once I've got a little bit of this on, stick a piece of that acetate behind. <laughs> right, look at this. What I've done is I've used red liner tape around the outside jaw, but then get Brenda back out, right, just to make sure this is really well stuck. What I'm doing is I'm going to do a bit of a spray so that we've got some plenty of, there we go, just around the inside of there. So I want plenty of adhesive on the inside as well. But just now you could either use the spray or the dotty tape pens would work absolutely perfectly well as well. And then here is my acetate. Look at this. So the acetate just going to go on the back here, right? Got that all the way around the back of there, right? And then on these corners, I'm just going to assemble this like a regular box. So this, 
this bit, Joe, as long as everybody can see what I'm doing, you don't need me to kind of explain oh, is it. Time it. for chit chat. Chit chat oh. questions. I can take any questions. Let me know which one's been the most popular card that I should plan for the next demo. Uh, can you explain the different types of uh, acetate? We've got the heavyweight A5 on the show, and we've got the A4 construction, Sarah. Right, so the heavyweight A5 is our own really heavyweight cardstock, right? Which we have brilliant pricing on, okay? The uh, the uh, A4 heavyweight acetate we get in from Hunky Dory. So not quite as, um, you get the larger sizes, we're not quite as um, fantastic on the price point because obviously we can't discount it and do the deals on it mm. like we can with our own stuff. Um, and then actually, if you don't need to construct, just use our regular acetate. You know, things like this behind a card doesn't always have to be heavyweight. It's, it's nice if you can do the heavyweight, but it doesn't have to be. Mm. So all I'm doing, that was the lid. Now this is the base. Now to make the base really stand out, Joe, what I thought I would do, right, is I would take this, I'm going to pop this, before I stick this on, I've got just a little bit, beautiful, like nice cardstock that can go on the inside there. Right. Uh, Mariah says we're never going to be able to choose a card of the show. No, I, I wholeheartedly agree there, right? <laughs> so you can see that there. Now, if you want to go a step further, these are very inexpensive to buy, right? And what I've done is just got, I just had like a little pack of them. Can you see? It's the, the one where it's like wire. So all you're going to do, Joe, is you're going to take one of these, right? And you're going to just, on the inside of your box, right? Basically, if I turn it on, you'll be able to see it easier, right? You're going to pop that down there and then stick it in place. So you want them just to go around the outsides, but stick all the way around, right? What would you use, Sarah, for this? 3D glue gel? Red liner. Red liner, okay. So if you have a little look, he's the one that I'd done and got ready, right? Didn't have my metallic ink pads to hand at the time, though, right? Can you see I've just stuck it on the inside with a little bit of red tape? Look at that. Super easy, and then all I've done is, because I knew it was going on display, I just actually fed it through to the bottom. You could just feed it actually on the inside. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't that super and super Gorgeous. easy? Gorgeous. So you all need the man on the moon, which is called Moon and Stars, right? And I do want you to take it to that next level and use those metallic ink pads on there as well. I think they're fabulous. It really so, is. That one, Sarah. It really is. Wait for it. Out of this world. Oh, 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 oh. it is indeed. <laughs>